Well guys, here it is, the most wonderful time of the year, boiler season. Now most of you run your boilers year round, but it's these cold months of winter that the boiler problems like to raise their ugly heads up. These cold months also bring a concern that I mention a lot on this channel, and that's freeze protecting your boilers. And guys, I sometimes talk about these with an emphasis towards our mobile boiler plants, but these are things to consider for any of your outdoor boilers or systems that may be exposed to the elements. So today I'm giving you four tips to protect your boilers against the cold weather, and I'm doing it right now. So number four, insulation. Approved insulation is a must for certain areas. Weather conditions vary around the country, and some areas may need more in, or more stringent insulation needs. Jurisdictional requirements could specify insulation requirements, however, in general, you need to have about three or four inches of approved insulating material wrapping these pipes. Use the appropriate covers to also protect the insulation itself. If it's raining or snowing, then this paper-backed insulation will not last for very long. Oftentimes, our rental customers will use plastic wrapping for a quick protective barrier. Regardless, the insulation itself needs to be able to withstand the elements. All that said, keep regular checks on the lines. It's not uncommon to see where contractors working on or around systems that are insulated may have removed or damaged the insulation. Number three, heat trays. Heat trays combined with insulation is an excellent resource for protecting lines on a boiler or any system that may not get regular sufficient flow to protect it from freezing. If you're not familiar with it, the typical application is electrical heating cable that works just like a resistance element. It, it heats up to, and keeps those hydronic lines toasty or at least above freezing. Now keep in mind, this can, can't do it alone. You still wanna use the insulation on top of the heat trays to cut down on the heat dissipating out of the pipes. Now if time permits, this comes in bulk rolls for a hardwired installation with a thermostatic setting. Yet in a pinch, there are some conventional plug and play type uh, styles that are available for a quick and simple installation. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's specifications on installation for piping and the different types of fittings and flanges, etc. Now another type is steam trace, and the biggest thing to keep in mind with steam tracing is to remember that if the boiler shuts down that is protecting the lines or that, that's providing the steam, then that steam will condense and then freeze. So make sure that the steam that is being supplied is from a steady and uninterrupted source. And don't forget about those fuel lines. Check out our other video where we place some number two fuel oil in the freezer and you'll understand why it's important to freeze protect those fuel lines too. Number two, electric heaters. So this one's a pretty quick and straightforward approach, guys. Whether it's a mechanical room with a draft that could pose a concern or an area in, in the mechanical room that may not get the radiant heat from the boiler or a mobile unit, an electric heater can be a quick and easy solution to mitigate any freeze concerns. Of course, the more heat you have, the more area you can heat. Some models are thermostatically controlled for convenience, but regardless, these are just an ideal way to keep those pipes from freezing. This is something that can work in a crawl space or anything. Our enclosed mobile boilers are equipped with electric heaters that are all sized accordingly to heat the enclosed space, especially areas around like the DA and the feed tank where it may not be getting that boiler's radiant heat. Usually there will be one in the front and one in the back, and you need to check these daily to make sure that they are working properly. This is a primary line of defense for the freeze protection of your boiler. Number one, awareness. Guys, when we are talking about awareness, we are covering a lot of ground here, and I mean a lot. You need to be aware of the weather conditions, the piping and lines connected to your boiler, that uh, anything that's not getting steady, sufficient flow. Is there any exposed lines that aren't properly insulated or traced? Is the boiler parked somewhere that stays in the shade and it's uh, cooler for obvious reasons? Where are all the drain points? Does the boiler shut down for a considerable amount of time that could cause a freeze concern? Are all the electric heaters working properly? Are there any unnecessary vents or louvers? There's just so many things to consider and I just call this being aware. This is what you would just call knowing your site and understanding the conditions thereof. And for that, it makes it, in my opinion, the most important aspect of freeze protection. Familiarize yourself with the boiler and all the components vital for the freeze protection of it. If you have any questions about freeze protection for your boiler, do not hesitate to give us a call. We will be glad to answer any questions that you have on freeze protecting your boilers. This is another area that it's critical that you are proactive in. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, if you got any questions about your freeze protection, do not hesitate to give us a call. It's that time of year. 
If a boiler freezes up, it's going offline and you're going to be giving us a call anyways. So just give us a call and let's be proactive about the freeze protection. Other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.